Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2 English Story At the airport Lorna was excited. She was packing ready for her first trip abroad in over two years. Lorna loved to travel. She had been to Canada, Mexico, Iceland, Germany, Spain, Italy, Japan and Hungary. Now she was packing ready for a week in New York. She checked online for the weather forecast and decided it would be best if she packed layers. Lorna was going to take a small suitcase and a backpack. She would also take her laptop, chargers and any medicine she might need. She was going to the city to visit a friend from university who was taking a summer course in the city. She would have free accommodation. Lorna had applied for her Esther online and it was successful. Esther stands for the Electronic System for Travel Authorization. Anyone who wants to visit the United States from the UK must have an Esther before they are allowed entry. Once Lorna had her Esther sorted, she booked her flights and organised health insurance. Lorna was going to fly standard class. She had never flown first class before. Maybe one day... She chose a reliable but affordable airline that was flying out of Heathrow, close to where she lived. As Lorna packed, she made sure she had all her important documents together in her backpack. These included her passport, details of her hotel, a paper copy of her Esther and any vaccination details she might have to show to the border control staff upon entry and some local currency. After Lorna had everything sorted, she had a shower and set her alarm for 4am. She had to get to the airport with at least three hours to spare. In the morning, her alarm went off. She got dressed, packed her last toiletries into her suitcase and made her way to the airport. She parked in the airport car park and caught the shuttle bus to her terminal. Once she arrived at the terminal, she went through the door marked Departures. She then checked a huge board that detailed all of the flights that were due to depart that day. There were hundreds of them. She found her flight number and made her way to the correct check-in desk. Once there, the staff members checked her booking and passport, weighed her luggage, checked in her suitcase and gave her a tag for her cabin bag. Luckily, both her pieces of luggage weren't oversized or overweight. They printed off her boarding pass and explained what time she had to be at the boarding gate. Lorna had almost two hours to get through security 
and have a look around duty free and the other airport shops. Security, as always, had long queues. Lorna was a little nervous as she was always scared that she might set off the alarms or she might have something she was not supposed to have in her bags. She was always forgetting to empty her water bottles. Luckily, security went smoothly. Once she was at the other side, she made her way to the coffee shop. It was early and she needed to wake up a little bit. She bought herself a coffee and a pastry. She sat by the window and watched the huge planes take off and land. She couldn't believe how many there were. After she had finished her drink, she made her way to the departure lounge and got out her book until it was time to board. Before she knew it, an announcement was made for her plane. She joined the queue, showed her passport and boarding pass and walked down a long corridor before she reached the plane's door. Luckily, the flight was quite quiet and she didn't have anyone sitting next to her. So once the flight had set off and the seatbelt light had gone off, she would be able to stretch out a little bit. The cabin crew closed the plane door and started to do their checks. Before she knew it, the plane had started to move and the cabin crew were doing their safety announcement. The pilots made an announcement, welcoming everyone to the aircraft and then, suddenly, they were in the air, coasting above the clouds. It was beautiful. The flight was a flurry of refreshments, food, films and more announcements. Lorna managed to have a nap and didn't feel too tired by the time the pilot announced that they were beginning their descent into New York. They had a smooth landing and didn't have to wait very long before they were allowed to alight the plane. Then Lorna made her way through to baggage reclaim, picked up her suitcase, went through passport control and walked to arrivals where she was greeted by her friend. Let's go through some of the airport-related vocabulary you have heard in this story. Abroad. Abroad. If you go abroad, you go to a foreign country. To pack. Pack. To pack is to put something into a bag or a box or a container. Suitcase. Suitcase. A suitcase is a large, usually rectangle shaped container with a handle. Backpack. Backpack. A backpack is a bag with straps which you put over your shoulders. Arrivals. Arrivals. This is the area of an airport where passengers have just landed and arrived. Departure. Departure. This is the act of going away somewhere. Check-in. Check-in. This is the area of an airport where you show your ticket to get on a plane. Cabin baggage, carry-on luggage and hand luggage these all mean the same thing. They are the luggage that you take with you onto the plane. Passport control. Passport control. This is a place at airports, ports or borders 
where passports are checked. Cabin crew. Cabin crew. These are the people who work in an aircraft and look after the passengers. Currency. Currency. This is money that is used in a particular country. Pilot. Pilot. This is someone who is qualified to fly an aircraft. Q. Q. This is a line of people waiting for something. Terminal. Terminal. This is the area of an airport that is used by passengers leaving or arriving. Boarding gate. Boarding gate is the area where you wait and then go through to board a plane. Boarding pass. Boarding pass. This is a paper card that a passenger must have to be allowed to get on a plane. Security. Security. This is the area of an airport where passengers must undergo checks. Baggage claim or baggage reclaim. This is the place in an airport where you collect your cases and bags when you arrive. Announcement. Announcement. You hear these a lot in airports. Announcements are given over speakers. They are usually something that someone says officially. They're giving information about something. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and that you found the airport vocabulary useful. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.